against the uh, Canadians and against the Russians. And the Puska and the Rasmussen. The number four seeds, ranked five in the world. Rasmussen uh, on the right and Puska on the left. Rasmussen has already played a match today with uh, Ricker Olsen in the quarter-final of the mixed doubles and successful he was too. And here's how they got through to the quarter-finals beating Simon Archer and uh, Graham Harrell of England in the opening match. Close first game but a uh, bit of a runaway in the second and then Jim Laugerson and Michael Sugart from Denmark dropping the second game. No head-to-head -head between the two. Jill Clark alongside me. It should be pretty close, I'd imagine. Yes, this is a very difficult match to call uh, the boys from Thailand while well, they've formed this partnership uh, four years ago and been highly successful ever since. There, Pan Vispas, 25 years of age, actually born in America, but uh, lived all his life in Thailand. But his partner is probably the most experienced player on the whole tour. Promote Tarawi Rotana. He uh, has been playing on the world tour well since the late 80s, so uh, vastly experienced. So after the last match, this will really be uh, something if we can get anything like the same kind of atmosphere. The Danes, Porschke there, and uh, Jonas Orasmussen, the number four seeds up against the number one from Thailand, Tasana Panrisvas and uh, Pramote Tarawiwatana. Zhang Peihua from China in charge. So it'd be Porsche to serve. These two semi finalists in the Japan Open in April and winners of the German Open at the back end of last year. Danes, in fact, played uh, earlier on today in the mixed doubles. Porschke played with uh, Panil Harder of Denmark, uh, but lost out to Kim and Ra from Korea. But Rasmussen winning with Ricker Olsen. Rasmussen. China, who won that 
terrific match against the Malaysians Chan and Chu in three games earlier on today. And some showboating from Rasmussen. Yes, playing the defensive shot round the back. Played it with remarkable accuracy as well. It's a shot you perfected. <laughs> well, I tried to. Presbyson trying to anticipate, trying to encroach in on the net. from the Danes. It's a big shot from the back. Such strength. He's a, a tall man and very physically strong. Yes, and all these guys look pretty physically intimidating. Well, that's right. I think uh, probably what what I'm looking for in this match is the uh, skill and tactical awareness of Promote, most experienced player on court at the age of 36. And incredibly playing in his eighth World Championships. Love First played in a World three. Championship in Jakarta in 89. That really is phenomenal. Three, Does it give you any delusions of a comeback, Jill? When you see a guy of 36 playing like this? <laughs> no, I can assure you, absolutely not. But he's happening more and more in the sport. I guess less so in this sport than others because it's so much about sharpness. But in tennis and athletics and squash, many sports, people staying to a, a grand old age at the very top. Yes, and it's great to see. I think there's, there's always been sort of a, a, a feeling in sport. You reach the big 3-0 and everybody says, well, that's it, you're past it. And, um, you know, people like Promote, Tarui Watana, he, he's just proving the fact that you can carry on and, and play into your 30s. Hey. Hey. attack from the word go and it's counting yes and they're combining so well together the Danes they're setting up the rally for the other one to finish it off at the net that really is what good doubles is about yeah, and again lovely little angle Boschke looking for the business at the front Promotitara stopping the rod. This pair quarter finalists two years ago in the World Championships lost to the Malaysian pair Chun Tan Fuk and Lee Wan Wa. And 
but last year, as you say, winning that China Open, that really was a big breakthrough for them. doing the attacking of the Danes. And uh, Porsche it is more often than not with a devastating finish. Doubles smash down the centre of the court. A, it confuses your opponents, and the second thing is it narrows the angle of reply. smile from his partner. Great return. Just brushing the shuttle into the mid-court area. just can't seem to get anything going as far as points are concerned. Being stopped in their tracks time after time. to time. Yes, the Danes really have been very positive in their start to this match. Not wanting to lift the shuttle, always wanting to stay on the attack. Oh, he wasn't sure that it was desperately close. But they've opened up a seven-point cushion now. Yep. Good call. And this is a, a prolific run now.
absolutely extraordinary at the start of this match i thought that every rally would really be hard fought and so close in standard but the the tie pair just aren't in it at the moment it's almost like they've been uh, bombarded and just don't know what to do about it that's a lovely shot from Promote. But they need to back it up with some more. And the lead just gets bigger and bigger. Mistake there, did Rasmussen. It's amazing, as you say, they're the number seven pair in the world, these two, and they've just been taken apart. Mistake. Fass particularly just hasn't got anything going. No, so many unforced errors like that one, but it's so important for the Thai pair that they play themselves into this match, even if they don't get back and, and take this opening game, which I think is asking the impossible, really. They, they need to settle the nerves by, by at least getting a few long rallies and just feeling settled out there. a good low serve far too loose so it's like taking candy and again that serve didn't last long well Pam Vispas really is having a nightmare out there at the moment they need this pause to try and gain some composure because they haven't shown much and to be honest the Danes have got the, to this lead without having to play too brilliantly they've taken the initiative and they've made it count using his power so game point but they're gonna have to wait a while Vespas again, and it paid off. Yeah. Another poor shot, I'm afraid. And uh, you have to think they're going to finish it off here, this first game. Porska, the first to serve. Through. And without breaking too much sweat, 
Kwaszka and Rasmussen have taken the first game in just about 18 minutes. And to be honest, it was a bit of a non-event. Well, I, I'm just astonished by this. I would never have predicted that sort of outcome of the opening game. Start us off. Well, now. Service over. It's a good start for him. See if he can build on that. But again, the Dane straight back on the attack. Rasmussen with the big smash that time. resulted in probably the longest rally of the match so far. But the defensive play of, of the Thai pair, I think sometimes they're too willing to sit back and defend. I think they've got to take a little more initiative here. Because you definitely get the feeling the Danes flourish on attack. Most definitely. It's not saying that the Danes have got a, a weakness in defence. They're both very strong in defensive play, but but very much prefer to be on the attack. Oh, that's a bad mistake from Rasmussen. One love. Set this over. Mustn't get complacent. It's been uh, so easy. Just two points dropped so far. Margins are against them. Service judge saying that racket head too high. A real whip from that shot from Terawatana. Oh. Convinced it was short. One. A late call. <laughs> well, that's extraordinary. I'm absolutely convinced that the line judge, first of all, indicated that it was in. There's normally never any change of mind. Once you've got a call, right or wrong, it stays the call. Well, the line judge can change their mind, and, and sometimes they do, and that's the right thing to do. But certainly the umpire can't overrule. And he didn't hear any change of mind from the line judge anyway. Promote just looking at the umpire, wondering whether in fact Rasmussen had come over the net as he was playing the shot. And he might have. Certainly very close. Perfect low serve. 
And then the high. Good Five, variation. One Another rich vein of form from the Danes here. What I like about the Danish play is when they are defending, they're immediately trying to counteract that. So you'll see them, def the defensive shot, they'll either block to the net or they'll drive it back, and one of them will follow forward to the net. And that's where they're really having so much success. Amazing reactions there from Rasmussen. And again, they've opened up a six-point cushion very quickly on this serve. Turn. The Danes want the court swept. I just think the uh, ties want to go off, come on again, and start from fresh. It's been a, a dismal time for them. Yes, and I think Promote is aware that his partner is struggling so much and therefore is trying to do more himself. And that isn't really the answer. Playing his side into trouble. Once again, the intersection at the net from the Danes. They're not playing many winners from the back of the court. It's all about setting it up for the four-court player. The arm so good from Rasmussen. Disappointing that little floater across. I'm afraid it's not much better for Tisana Pambisvas. It's an afternoon so far, he'd want to forget. Still holding out some hope, although it is beginning to fade fast. Good judgment. Now, they have to get something going here. again in that rally from the Danes. I just wondered a moment ago whether they've become a little bit complacent. 
seem to have gone off the boil. Now what? That is incredible. They did well just to reach it, let alone guide it across court. Certainly, Promote Tarui Watana that is holding this tie pair together. He's the one that's making the winners. Interesting to see him just chatting to his partner there, smiling at him. That's uh, good in a partnership to see that. He, he knows his partner is struggling and yet is still encouraging. Playing better in the second game than he was the first, but it, a lot of damage has been done. It's still not too late. No, not at all. They know they've, they've got the pedigree, they've got the form. They can somehow take this second game. Who knows what might happen in game number three? Extraordinary reactions. Right. Combining well there. First smash sets up the short shot. Rasmussen smashing across court, and the tie is just not ready for that. sailing for the Danes up to now but just the threat now that this might be more difficult how will they react to it uncharacteristic error from Porsche it doesn't bode well fast with the error there but he's playing a lot better now have they bought enough time to change this around Yeah. 
smashing starting to have its effect again. Yes, I think the Danes in the last couple of rallies have played with a little more urgency. They've been happy just to sort of play the drop shots. It's right to vary the pace, of course, when they are attacking, but in the opening game they seemed so intent on en ending the rallies as quickly as possible, and they seem to have lost that urgency a little bit in this second game. Completely misjudged from Tara Uwatana. And there are four games from a medal here. Four points from a medal. Rasmussen really has been superb at the net today. Oh. You can see his confidence building minute by minute. Just two points adrift now. Another serving. that they had. I think they've been lulled into a false sense of security here. Yes, I think they felt that they were really cruising this match and, and have really gone off the boil and it's, and it's costing them dear at the moment. It's a very different picture now. And once you have switched off, even if it's only a fraction, it's so difficult to quickly turn it on again. Yes, and the problem is you start getting doubts in your mind because you were cruising and, and you feel you should have been winning this match easily. Eased off the pedal and then there's a few question marks in your own mind and as soon as you get question marks, well then... That's the start of a downfall. They have to recompose their thoughts right now. No. Making mistakes. I don't know, that's the kind of mistake he'd never made earlier on. He had time. much greater now. Just the odd signs of miscommunication between the Danes. There was one earlier on there where they seemed to be leaving it for each other. Yes, they're a relatively new partnership. Only been playing together for 18 months, so that's understandable that that happens at times, and certainly when pairs and players get nervous. 
slight hesitation, not sure if your partner's going to move or you've got to take the shot. The gap narrows again. But again, Erasmussen fighting home. Second serve, but this has been the fruitful one. The one for Panvisvas. Good work. Is that their last chance? We shall see. in the world's semi-final. second game but their start was mighty convincing it really was incredible and, and all credit to the Danes because they came out here with a positive attitude determined to get on the attack and they kept the shuttle going down at all costs in that opening game I thought that the concentration just wavered slightly in the second maybe a little bit of being too complacent but in the end they held their nerve they got back to the original game plan of getting on the attack and they thoroughly deserved the victory. So they're through to the semi-final and they'll play Sang and Cheng of China tomorrow. It'll be a bronze at least. But that's their first celebration of the week. Will it be their last? Porschka and Rasmussen then through to the semi-final.